Howdy folks, Laxo here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Warsaw we're getting. It is the Windchime Warsaw. Now, uh, the Balloon Warsaw is also another Warsaw that we have gotten. Uh, I'm not going to be looking at that one. I might talk about it on a later video, but this is going to be looking at the Windchime Warsaw. Why am I looking at the Windchime Warsaw? Well, this is a very unique Warsaw. We don't have very many, if any, Warsaws that reduce, I'm sorry, that give us crit resist chance. Now this gives us not only crit resist chance, but a very large chunk of it. It's about 20%. I know it's 18.75, I'm going to be saying 20% just to make it easy. And healing received is about 20% as well. But crit resist chance is pretty important. Why? Because uh, when we get crit, we receive pretty much double damage, and that's not including... Uh, crit strength as well. So, crit resist chance is a overlook stat, but it is very important. Another thing to note here. Crit resist chance, this warsel is not calculated into your sheet. Now, as you can see, my sheet here is 60.9. With this calculated, it's going to be sitting at about 80% crit resist chance. And that is going against, of course, enemies' crit chance. As you can see, if you have a crit warsel, usually you're sitting around anywhere between 70 to 90% crit chance. Of course, that also depends on hones and several other things, total warsels as well. So, as you can see, 90% crit chance going against 80% crit resist chance. And again, that's also not including block chance as well. Block chance is also sitting around 80% block, 80% crit resist. So... To be very straightforward with you, I have done a lot of testing on this Warsaw since I got it, uh, I believe, two, three, three days ago. And I have not seen Olkiota get crit a single time, which is pretty incredible. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at a battle or two. If I remember I needed to say something, I'll just say it miscellaneously. Let's take a look at this first. So I'm just gonna be tell you what. Let's uh, do I have any? Okay, cool. I do have this battle. So we'll go ahead and look at this one. As you can see, he doesn't get crit a single time in this battle. And then um, we're gonna be doing another battle. I'm gonna be trying to find somebody that would have a high crit chance. Hopefully, if I could find a attack specialty character. That would be fantastic. And then we'll uh, go from there. But as you can see, he doesn't get below 40% HP very often. And I'm testing this on Olkiota for the purpose of... He has healing. And he has some pretty good crit chance. Um, but more specifically, he heals on every hit, so the extra 20% healing is actually quite noticeable. I don't think I've tested this without the healing morsel, but as you can see, I'm getting 128k on every hit. I'm sure without the morsel, I'd probably be getting around 100k, so it is a pretty substantial difference, but... So let's do another battle here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Any attack specialty characters? No attack specialty. All right, we're going to go ahead and just beat him really quickly here. Uh, let's see here. Who has a good counter? You're a good counter. All right. We're going to go ahead and try and find a attack specialty character and fight that person. So... Let's see, uh, Varg, what do you got? Oh, you have a bunch of attacks, most of the characters. Very, very nice. And he has a bunch of crit war souls as well, so... We're going to be looking at, what, 70 to 80% crit chance on most of these guys? Alright, let's go ahead and see what we could find. Uh, I wonder what your crit chance is. Very, very low, apparently. 
Then again, look at these war. These are terrible war souls. Who puts these war souls on tenses and gets who? Holy cow. Sorry about that. Uh, moving on. Alright, so this we're sitting at about 56% crit chance. But if you look here, we get 40% crit chance. So, uh, as soon as he uses his mastery skill, we're going to be looking at 100% crit chance. And then we're going to be seeing what we get from there. So we're going to go ahead and take this battle, actually. And see how we do. Again, we're looking at about a 60% crit chance versus an 80% crit resist chance. And see what's going on. Also, got to remember that we're looking at, what, an 80% block chance as well. So, let's see what we get. Alright, so now she has a 100% crit chance. I haven't gone up against a character with a 100% crit chance, so she might actually crit. But let's see. Hopefully she is going to hit multiple times. Alright, cool. So again, she has a 100% crit chance. We have 80% uh, crit resist chance. Okay. And unfortunately, I think she's going to die here. Uh, okay, cool. She gets one more attack. Alright. Just to drive the point home. That is... 100% crit chance versus 80% crit resist chance. And I would do some more tests against that, but unfortunately, um, I don't see that I can use him again because you can only use units once. However, I also have another battle I'm going to be showing you. It is the uh, right here. Okay, cool. So we're going to be looking at this as this battle right here. I actually, can I see his war? I don't. Yeah, okay. So in both battles, he's going to be having Windchime War Soul. I'm sorry. In the first battle, he's not going to have Windchime War Soul equipped. The second battle, which is this battle, he is going to be having Windchime War Soul equipped. So we're going to be taking a look at two things here. First, we'll be taking a look at, of course, the fact, is he going to get crit or not? This is without a crit resist war soul. And healing as well. So let's see. I didn't see how much healing that was. 68k. So he's getting 68k healing with the war soul. I'm sorry, without the war soul on. Um, I also tried to set up these battles so he would go against characters that would have a chance to crit him. I don't think I did it in the first battle, though. But the second battle, I did the best I could. And, uh... Let's see. 68k. We're gonna be checking out the second battle here. Alright. Going against Muramasa. So, once again, attack specialty. I don't know his war souls, unfortunately. But I'm going to assume that on the low... Muramasa is going to have a, what, 40% crit chance on the low? And on the high, if he has a crit chance war soul equipped, it'll probably be around 75, maybe 80. So, obviously Okiwara makes short work of Muramasa. Muramasa is not a very good 1v1 character. And Okiwara is probably the best character in the game at 1v1. So, third battle here. Once again, attack specialty character. We're going to be looking at Ashisogu Jizo. Maybe he has like a 40%, 30% going up against, or I'm sorry, with a crit war soul, maybe 60%. Skin Ashisogu Jizo, not a very good 1v1 character. So, should make short work of him. We're going to be taking a look at the healing one more time. 68k. Alright, now, we're going to be looking at the second battle here. Uh, let's see here, this one right here. Okay, cool. Um, as you can see, I didn't really have too many options. 
of characters to go against that were high crit chance. These were the two highest crit chance characters he had. So I try to put it against a high crit chance character. Or characters, I should say. So this was the best example I had, or test I had. As you can see, 81 K healing, so he did 68k, now he's doing 81k, that's plus or minus 20%, so healing is quite nice, healing is quite nice, so, um, once again, I don't believe he gets crit at all, I think I watched this video, I'm sorry, watched this replay, so it doesn't get crit at all here, but as you can see, once again, 81k healing, All right, let's check out the next... Actually, this is not a attack specialty character, so... I guess we'll look at a couple rounds of this. I might just skip this here. Just uh, what am I at? 11 minutes? Yeah, I should probably skip this a bit here. But as you can see, the reason why I do uh, rank Okyota as one of the best, if not the best, 1v1 character is because his healing is just insane. You know what? I I can rant for a minute here while this video is going on. So the reason why uh, people may think that Okyota is not as good as he once was is because his healing falls off. The reason why his healing falls off is... One, because the power creep. All games have power creep. This game's power creep really hit hard. Especially because Okyota is probably, what, like the third, fourth character ever released? And now we're looking at, you know, what is it? 40 UR characters? 40, 50 UR characters that have been released? 50, I think. 50, 55, 65 around there. So the power creep is out of this world. Obviously, he's going to be taking a ton of damage against other characters. And he's also going against characters that have really, really good healing reduction. So, all that calculated in, I still think he's probably one of the best, if not, again, the best 1v1 character in the game. Alright. Now we're looking at an attack boost character. Mm, once again, I'm assuming around 40% crit chance. 81k healing still. Also, I do apologize for my voice if it's still a little um, scratchy. It's been about a month and I'm still uh, have a messed up voice. I don't know why. My voice just kind of randomly died one day and it hasn't really come back since. But. Yeah. All right, so that is what we are looking at for healing, 81 versus 68k, and he's honestly uncritable at this point. At this point, he has about 80% crit resist chance, and he has an extra 20% healing as well. Oh, also, I should probably point this out just so people aren't like, thinking I'm crazy. The reason why I tossed a bunch of rare units in here is because, honestly, getting another 1v1 first place uh, frame means nothing to me. I'm going against somebody. This is literally the last seed. Um, I'm not sure if he has a top whatever frame. I'd, I'd assume he'd probably equip it if he did. So I'm just, it means nothing for me to win battles at this point. What am I going to get? An extra 100 jades or something? Like, it, it really means nothing to me. I'd rather other people have fun rather than me try and pat my ego or something. It really means nothing to me. So, if other people can have more fun at my expense, I'm willing to give it. But yeah, that is what we are looking at for the crit resist chance. Honestly, I'm, I'm quite stunned at how strong this warsel is. I'm, you know what, I'll actually take a quick look at Warsoul's 
and see if we have any other crit resist chance war souls. I obviously have not gotten all the possible war souls, so I can't confirm nor deny what war souls have crit resist chance and don't have crit resist chance that we've had before. So we might have gotten lots. Of, you know what? I think the other war soul might have had crit resist chance on it. There was the Merit, and there was the Sushi, I think, Warsoul, or something like that. That, I think, had Crit Resist Chance on it. But, I think this might be the strongest Crit Resist Chance Warsoul that we've gotten thus far. Uh, we haven't really gotten too many Defense Warsouls either. Plus Defense, because there's not too many characters that really benefit from... Increased defense, so. Now, I probably should point this out. Most people are probably thinking, like, Oh, hey, isn't this War Soul better because it gives you more healing? Um, if people are still watching this video at 16 minutes, the reason why I am emphasizing that this War Soul is so much better than other War Souls is simply because the fact it has HP percent. You can't underestimate how much 15% HP is. It's not too much, spoiler. But, not very many War Souls, if any, do you get crit resist chance, healing, and HP, because that healing received only goes up based off how much health you have total. So, yeah, it's, it's incredible compared to other War Souls. Now, we probably could do a healing test right here just to see how crazy we can get the healing. You know, give a, a unit like Orahime, give her the healing war soul. So we can, uh, we can double dip the chip of healing. Because you can see this is healing rate. But the other one is healing received. So we'd get, what, an extra, like, 40% healing or something disgusting like that. 30... I'm not sure how the math works for this, so my math is probably terrible because healing given and then healing received probably calculates two different ways. I don't think it stacks. Maybe it's multiplicative. Maybe it's additional. I can't confirm or deny that, but, um, yeah. If you double dip the chip of healing, you probably have some insane healing. So, maybe that is helping out the Warsaw of the Saint. As you can see, my best Warsaw of Saint is only 3 star. Because it's so awful. I mean, look at it. It doesn't give you... I mean, it gives you a little bit of attack. Which is essentially nothing when we get later on in the game. And it gives you very little defense. Which again, is essentially nothing a little later on in the game. And a little bit of health, which is essentially nothing later on in the game. So the only big stat this gives you is healing. And it's only, what, an extra 20... I don't know what 5 star is, but I'd say like 25% or something healing. So it's really not that great. But uh, if you double dip the chip, especially if you have, what... I mean, you can't have 6 of these. The most you could buy is, what, 2? I'm actually kind of curious. Let's take a look at that how many you can get um where is it is it two or three yeah it's two okay so the most you can get is two but if you put the large amount of crit resist chance and maybe there are other healing war souls that we've got in the past i don't think so i could be wrong um but yeah the healing could be off the charts in my opinion so yeah, um, can't think of anything else to talk about the War Soul or test it wise. But uh, yeah, the War Soul is pretty good. Um, I'm actually rather surprised. And uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the War Soul. I, I think in the initial video where I looked at it, I didn't really say too much about it. But the more I'm testing it, it's actually phenomenal so opinions change mind change about this warsel but 
So got this one up, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. As usual, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Pretty soon here. Going over the balloon warsel, maybe, possibly. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, guys. Talk to you then. Peace. Peace.